May June 2023, Paper 2, Variant 3, Question 1. Okay, question A, Part 1. Identify the lattice structure of copper. For the lattice structure, uh, we have uh, two main types. One is a simple, one is giant. Under simple structure, we just have simple molecular. Giant structure, we have a giant metallic, giant ionic, and giant molecule. For copper, is under giant metallic. Okay, draw a label diagram to show the bonding present in copper. Okay, you need to at least draw four to six particles, the positive particles. Okay, and you need to label that. Okay, in this question is copper, you just label copper to positive. Or you just say that positive cation. And of course, you have to put the negative charge around the positive particle. And you need to label that as delocalized electron. Okay, this one is the for the metallic. Huh? How about when it's ionic? Ionic is very easy. You just need to put the cation and anion alternately. Okay, something like this. Right. So just put uh, put a few particles. Uh, may, must be alternate. Okay, and then you just label uh, this one is a cation and anion. Depends on the question. If it's uh, NaCl, so this is a uh, Na positive. And the negative is the correct. Okay, part B. So two isotopes given, copper 63 and copper 65. Okay, the relative atomic isotopic mass already given, this and with its abundance, and this one with its abundance. Part one, define the unified atomic mass unit. Okay, this one is very easy. So it's the mass of one half of the mass of carbon half atom. Carbon half atom in there is has half AMU, atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit means AMU. Unified atomic mass unit means uh, the AMU, which we use the copper half okay, as the standard. So when this carbon chaff is has chaff AMU and we times one over chaff, we will get one AMU. This is the unified mass that we get when we use carbon chaff as a standard or comparison. Okay, this is the new definition that you must know, uh, atomic mass unit. And part two, Define relative atomic mass AR in terms of the unified atomic mass unit. Okay, so this one uh, is just like last time. Okay, but the later part here is changed to the unified atomic mass unit. Okay, so for this, uh, okay. The first part, average mass of the isotope of an element compared to the unified mass unit. So last time is the mass of one chaff of the mass of chaff, uh, carbon chaff atom. So now you just need to put the unified mass unit okay, when you define the AR. Because this one, unified mass unit, means the part one. Okay, and please remember when you define relative atomic mass, you must put average mass of all the isotopes okay, of an element. Okay, calculate the relative atomic mass of copper in the sample. So it's very easy. You just use the relative isotopic mass times the percentage plus the relative isotopic mass okay, of others times the percentage. Sum it up. 
Okay, so over the total relative abundance in this question is 100. Okay, so you get 63.546. Uh, it's better for you to leave it as three decimal places because the question is given three decimal places. Right. Okay, part C. The mass spectrum of the sample of pure copper given this. So the first two peaks, 31.5 and 32.5, is actually from the 63 and 65. From here, we know that 63 when it's half, so you get this. 65 when you get when half, you get this. Okay, this one you will need to use the mass over charge ratio to compare or to uh, get the the signals. Okay, the the <clears throat> sixty three and sixty five. Okay, these two peaks is actually sixty three, the mass over the charge. Charge is positive one, means it's telling you it's copper positive. 63 over positive 1, you get 63 mass in the spectrum. So this 46% telling you is copper 63 positive. And this one, 21% is telling you is 65 over positive 1, which is copper positive with 65 mass. Right. And so the first two peaks, the 23% relative abundance is telling you is 63 over positive 2. Means it's copper 63 to positive. This is the species that produce this signal. And for the 10% relative abundance, so we know that it's 65 over positive 2. So you get this mass. Okay. And we know that is copper 65 to positive. Uh, so then in this question is asked, what is the ion with the relative abundance 23%? So now it's clear is 63 copper with two positive charge. <clears throat> Part D. When Ki added to copper sulfate, the blue color turns brown. Okay, so brown, from here we know that the iodide must oxidize to form iodine because brown color means iodine form. And a white precipitates copper iodide sink. So it means it's COI. So the oxidation number for this copper is positive one. Now, Part 1, complete the equation for this reaction. This is quite easy. You just try to balance it. right? And because it says that brown color, here you just need to put iodine. Once you know it's iodine, then you can balance it. You get 2 copper, 2 ion, 4 iodide, 2 CuI, and 1 iodine. right? So here we know that copper 2 now reduced to uh, this uh, copper 1. Iodide now oxidized to the iodine. Right, so this is a redox reaction. Identify the oxidizing agent in this reaction. Oxidizing agent is the one that oxidizes others itself get reduced. So which species get reduced? Copper 2 get reduced from copper 1. So it's quite clear that copper 2 is the oxidizing agent. And you must explain in terms of electron transfer do not just give the copper two you must explain why so because copper two it gains one electrons from iodide copper two it changed from positive two to positive one because it gains one electron okay part three state the full electron configuration of copper two positive before you do this, it's better for you to understand what is the electron configuration for the atom itself. So copper is, has this configuration, argon, 
3D10 for S1. So the orbital diagram is this. We know that when the atoms release electron, the electrons must release from higher energy subshell or orbital. So there is one electron in 4S. So these electrons will remove first. And the second electron is going to remove from the 3D. 3D orbitals. Okay, so therefore we know that one electron is removed when it's formed two positive. Huh? One electron removed from 4S, another electron removed from 3D, so it will become 3D9. So the electron configuration for this copper 2 will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d9. That's all for this first question. Thank you.